Hi, thanks for coming to my channel. This is Midnight Moon Tarot and I'm Diana. This reading is for the astrological sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, or anywhere in your birth chart that Libra might appear. Also, if you're new to my channel, I'd like to take just a second and invite you to subscribe and click that little bell so that you're sure to be notified whenever I upload new content. Also, in the description box below, you'll find links to my social media, my Patreon, my PayPal, and links to some really cool things on Amazon as well as link to my webpage. Okay, so this reading is for the month of November 2020, keeping in mind that all tarot readings are timeless. So whether you come across this reading right after I upload, a week, month, or even a year from now, if you feel drawn to watch it, most likely you'll find a message for you within the reading. Now, I know that this um, reading is coming in a little late <laughs> when it's for the entire month of November. Uh, we had a hurricane earlier in the month and the power was out for four, five, six, days and then there was trouble getting the uh, internet and everything back up everything reconnected and then we go out again so I am playing catch up here and as soon as I'm done with this I'm going to go ahead and put out the mid-monthly so I apologize for the delay now if you feel like this reading doesn't completely resonate with you uh, just keep the part set due disregard the rest feel free to swap the rolls around and uh, sometimes we um, resonate more with our rising sign and uh, different placements that we have in our chart so if you know you're other uh, planetary placements be sure you listen to those signs as well for additional messages okay all right now i'm going to go ahead and calibrate these cards to the astrological sign of libra sun moon rising venus and jupiter and ask our angels guides and ancestors for any love messages for libra for the month of november 2020 spirit what love messages do you have for libra for November 2020. Spirit, what love messages do you have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the month of November 2020? Okay, and I'm going to shuffle one more time. And now I'm going to divide these into three stacks. Okay. The card on the bottom of the deck is the Strength card. All right, now this is the overall energy for your reading. So as we go through this spread, I'm going to show you how this card is going to relate to the different cards that come up. Now, also, uh, the the Strength card is about taking control of a situation, uh, mastering something that's in your life. Um, Digging deep within yourself and finding that strength and that reserve that you can draw on when you are in a, a crisis situation or any other time that you need uh, particular strength. It's not just that type of strength. It can be emotional strength. Um, but say if you've had a, a loss of a loved one or something like that, then you, you know, it's that type of whatever it is that you have that's within you that gets you through hard situations. Now, for those of you who are new here, I do four rows, and the first row pertains to you, uh, things that you have been going through in the recent past, what you're currently dealing with, and things that are coming towards you, whether it's uh, new situations or uh, new people that are coming into your life. The second row is the same thing, only it's for your twin flame, uh, soulmate, uh, divine counterpart, karmic partner. Uh, this could be an ex that you still feel those really strong etheric ties with and, you know, secretly and hopefully long for a reconciliation. could be somebody you just met. Uh, however, generally... Despite whatever relationship status you have, it's the person that you find is on your mind the most, the one you're thinking about when you wake up in the morning, and that last person you're thinking about when you go to sleep at night. The third column has to do with our fears and anxieties. Um, it has to do with our obstacles, challenges, things like that that are keeping us from achieving what it is we want, phobias, that kind of thing that keep us frozen in our tracks and keep us uh, moving forward. Sometimes we are our own worst enemy, especially when it comes to self-sabotage, just because maybe we don't believe in ourselves enough. 
Okay, and that would be a good time to uh, draw on this strength card. Now, I just put two cards in each of the four rows, and I'm going to do this uh, two more times for a grand total of 24 cards. So by the time we reach the end of the reading, we'll have a pretty good idea about what's going on. So we have the Queen of Pentacles as well as this Two of Swords. And the Two of Swords is about having to make that decision, a pretty hard decision, uh, one that we need to uh, come to terms with, call a truce with, uh, let things just fall where they may, you know, land where they may, or however the saying goes. But the thing is, uh, you know, we have to do this. You see, she's blindfold. We have to do this with our heads and not with our heart or our emotions. Sometimes we have to make really hard decisions in our lives. And it's not, this is indicating it's not a good time to be led by your emotions. Now with this Queen of Pentacles, you may have found yourself focused completely on maybe an earth sign. This might be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This is someone that you you might have like put your entire hopes and dreams for a future with this person. This is someone that you've been very, very compatible with. This is somebody that, uh, you know, for some reason you're having to make this decision either to be with this person or maybe to leave this person behind. As we go further into your reading, we're going to know which one. So we have the Knight of Pentacles as well as the Page of Wands. And the Page of Wands in your partner's column, this means that we're going to be hearing some news, possibly from a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or a Leo person, and they're going to make known to us something that we absolutely really and truly need to know. Since this is a love reading, they this might be someone you find that is interested in you and can no longer hold their feelings back. And at the same time, we have this uh, Knight of Pentacles who's moving towards you. So it looks as if you may have two different uh, love interests or two different choices that are uh, coming into your atmosphere, okay? Now, when we get to the obstacles and challenges, we have that Four of Wands as well as the Ace of Pentacles. And you are faced with, uh, you know, new opportunities and uh, progression in your life, whether it's career or this... Uh, earth sign that you've been kind of focused on is finally stepping forward and offering you uh, what it is. Now, if this person was an ex, uh, certainly there was a time that you could see that this uh, person brought you a lot of joy and a lot of happiness. And now that they are offering you this again, because this is in your obstacles and challenges, you may have some reservations about uh, taking this person back or moving forward with your life. Now, in your outcome, we have the King of Cups as well as this King of Pentacles. So, yeah, definitely a couple of choices that are uh, coming into your life. You have yet another person. We we have the Earth, the Water uh, person coming into your life as well as your Fire. So, there there's some really hard choices you're going to have to make. You can't really dabble in any one of these because these are people who have very serious intentions for you as far as their future with you. You're going to have to make your mind up. Now, the chariot card fell out while I was uh, laying the cards out. <clears throat> and this indicates that you are ready to move forward. You do want that happily ever after. However, there's a little bit of confusion whether you should choose this one or whether you choose that one. This is indicated by the black and the white. These are opposites. They can go in different directions. You feel like you're being pulled in different directions. And at the same time, you're seeing that you're absolutely not going anywhere. You see these little sphinxes are actually sitting on the ground, okay? Now the, the little red <clears throat> A little red heart here indicates that, you know, this is a love situation that you're feeling particularly, uh, you know, torn with. It's like both of these people really uh, elevate you in some sense. And at the same time, you know, there can really and truly only be one of these particular because these people are not choosing to have an open relationship or, uh, you know, where you date multiple people. All right. Now in your column for the second set of cards, we have the seven of cups as well as the devil. In your partner's column, 
we have the Five of Wands and the Eight of Cups. All right, obstacles and challenges. You have the Two of Pentacles as well as the Emperor. And in your outcome, <laughs> there she is again, the Queen of Wands and the world. All right, so this person that you've been dealing with, uh, they could have been someone that was, you know, pretty hurtful maybe they at the time you were with them uh felt as if you know they were an exclusive relationship with you but they were always looking somewhere else or making comments or making remarks or openly flirting with other people and this led to a lot of toxic feelings as well as maybe codependent uh feelings that you were having in this relationship this person most likely was very insecure maybe they felt that you were uh you know above them out of their league whatever and the way that they could bring you down to their level was to destroy your self-esteem and to uh you know bring out that uh feeling where you know once once they knew that you were in love with you, they began maybe uh, triggering you or holding back things. And you found that you were having to work harder and harder to get the same level of love from this person or the same level of affection okay, and intimacy from this person. So this led to like very codependent thing. And this is another reason why you feel very uh, torn because do you go back to the old because of the love that you think that you felt when really and truly it's just a mind trick that uh, this person's playing on you um, that makes you believe that you are more um, connected to them than you actually are. Uh, or do you go on to this new situation? So we have the Five of Wands and the Eight of Cups in your partner's column. And I see that, you know, you're moving away from, you're moving away from that situation so much. You're seeing that, uh, you know, after some time of separation, that this was something that really, really and truly was toxic. And this person could have had some, um, addictions as well. They could have had alcohol, drug abuse type issues going on as well that, you know, maybe when they weren't partaking in those things, maybe they were a perfect person. And when they did, they were the devil. Okay. So you have the five of wands here, and this uh, indicates to me that there is a lot of petty jealousies and insecurities from your partner, since this is your partner's column, and you're seeing it for what it is, and deciding that even though you feel a lot of love for this person, much like that um, two of swords in your column earlier, this is, you know, you feel very, very tied to this person, just like in the devil card, you, you see that the lovers are chained together and then chain to the devil you feel that uh you know you're very bound and close to this person but at the same time you know that there's better you know that you deserve better you know that there's more out there for you okay and when we get to your uh obstacles challenges fears and anxieties you have the two of pentacles as well as the emperor now the two of pentacles speaks volumes you see that this person was probably maybe a little narcissistic maybe they were in a position where they were like really and truly just focused on what it is that they had going on and you see these waters back here they're very turbulent the ships are being tossed around these people don't know if they're gonna live and die and this is the this is the type of feelings that this uh, codependent relationship triggered in you and it's like they didn't even mind they didn't even care because they knew that when they do that to you the minute that they show any type of affection or attention to you that you would feel very very uh, you know happy and you know you would just be feeling like you won some type of prize because you got their attention again now as far as the emperor goes uh most likely it is that um that fire sign that's coming into your life the one that is going to let you know that they have feelings for you and maybe they've been watching you for a while and this is somebody who is a little more stable who is a little more mature this is someone who is above those type of games this is someone that has their stuff together and basically have a lot to offer you they are fully uh surrounded by their divine masculine and waiting and hoping to find uh, their divine feminine to uh, completely complement them. Now, when you come to the Queen of Wands as well as the world, 
All right. You have this feeling of uh, luck and happiness and success and moving around. And of course, the, the world is, uh, you know, confirming that. It's like this person, this um, emperor is offering you quite a bit of... Um, Quite a, quite, a, quite a bit of those feelings right there. And it's such a contrast from the way that that um, earth sign uh, devil relationship was making you feel. Okay, now we're coming to the last little set. We have the star as well as the Hierophant. The six of wands as well as the page of pentacles. <laughs> Of course, and we have the five of pentacles and the ten of cups. And in your outcome, we have the eight of swords as well as the <coughs> queen of cups and also the um, six of pentacles fell out as well. So, yeah, the star is like, you know, get rid of those feelings from your past. This is definitely a time to move forward, especially when you have that Eight of Cups energy, which is telling you that this is the time that you need to walk away. This is the time that you need to make that decision. And when you do, you're going to allow yourself to uh, have that Divine Masculine come back into your life and that it would be a very serious relationship, one that is uh, loving and fun-filled and full of respect, where they have the same goals, ideas, and attitudes about a relationship that uh, you do. They understand what boundaries are and they don't toy with that uh, if they are feeling insecure or need more attention. They just verbalize it and tell you about it. This is not somebody who wants to play games to trigger your insecurities so that you cling tighter to them. All right, now in your partner's column, you have that page of pentacles as well as the six of wands. No, 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 no. You can go on right back where you came from. As soon as this uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn person sees that you have left them and have moved on and are carrying on, they're going to reach out to you. Of course they are, but it's a little too late. You are involved with this fire sign. This is the one that you chose. This is the one that you feel like, you know, you, you're going to uh, have the most success with. Uh, and you know, uh, fire signs with air signs are very compatible generally. Uh, very physically, passionately charged as well. All right, so we have the Five of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups in your obstacles and challenges. So you still have these little lingering feelings that, you know, <laughs> Do you get involved again because this person left you feeling like you were an outsider in your own relationship? Or do you move on and enjoy this uh, Ten of Cups relationship with this uh, new person that's coming into your life when it looks like there's a lot of love and a lot of affection? So we have the Eight of Swords as well as the Queen of Cups for your final outcome. And what's happening here is... What, uh, you are feeling, you're feeling kind of trapped. You're like, do I move forward? I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. But the amount of love that this person is going to offer you, the amount of uh, emotional security that they're going to offer you, is going to be enough for you to, uh, you know, drop these bandages and walk away from the situation. The Eight of Swords talks about a prison that can be an actual physical prison or it can be like the prison we have in our own mind that keeps us from uh, making these choices. Now, of course, you end this, really, this uh, reading with the Six of Pentacles, which is when you were previously in this relationship with this um, earth sign and you felt as if you were the one who was always giving and giving and giving. Now the beggars here are taking because they have nothing to give and that is pretty much the situation you had with uh, your earth sign earlier and they have nothing to give back to you. So it was leaving you feeling depleted and you know trying so hard to be both sides to do all the work for both sides of the relationship. I think that you're going to find once you are able to leave this behind and 
it's going to take a lot of strength. It's going to take a lot of uh, courage to leave this relationship because you've been mind fucked, basically. And you are going to uh, believe that you really, really need this person. But it's time to uh, cut those cords, cut those etheric cords, those soul ties, those bonds, break those chains that are holding you to that devil and to move on and enjoy your life and that there is life after love. Okay, guys, I love you so much. That is your reading for November 2020. Like I said, I will be back uh, immediately. As soon as I finish this recording, I'm going to go ahead and start getting the mid-monthlies out. I love you guys. Thank you so much for all of your comments, likes, shares, and subscribes. It means so much to me. I really, really appreciate that. And I love you and I enjoy uh, growing and building this community, this little family that we have here on YouTube. And I do answer every single comment. I do ever answer every single email. And for those of you who <clears throat> have written to me for personalized readings, I do get back to you immediately the same day. All right, guys. Love you. See you soon.